So there's lots of variety on creative writing. You can one day be doing a screenplay and then the next you can go and you, you'll be writing the script for a game or you'll be pulling together a poetry collection or writing a collection of short stories or you might be writing a radio play. There's endless varieties. The connections that they build throughout the course, so the links between the course and the other departments, uh, means that you are able to collaborate with students in other specialisms. Um, so for example, I'm working with a game student to do a video game. I've worked with television students um, to write screenplays, and they're all opportunities I didn't think I would be able to do. Um, and it is something that Falmouth University prides itself on, and very rightly so. It's just a really great place to be. You can do anything you want and do it by the beach is just great. <laughs> um, and just being by the sea is just so nice and it's like the best, best environment to be in for a creative. And down here because it's such a creative uni you're constantly surrounded by people who are doing just weird and wonderful things all the time and it's really inspiring. It, it doesn't feel like a university campus, it feels like a kind of creative hub. Um, all the courses are thrown into the same campus, we all share the same facilities. We went to Kennel Vale, um, it's a really beautiful place, it's got this amazing um, kind of green atmosphere. Yeah, it's a place like Kennel Vale, uh, very inspirational for writing. It's, it's got its own vibe, you'll hear a lot of students kind of say like, oh that's so foul, you know, you'll see like a certain outfit or like a certain hairstyle and that's just foul and that's just what it is. And you'll understand when you come here what foul is and what that means. But yeah, it's small and it's close-knit and it's quirky and it's good to be part of. We have the Lighthouse, um, which is a kind of like a writer's hub for all writers across the Southwest, as well as current students um, and journalists and for alumni as well. So when we've graduated, we're still welcome to come back. Um, and in there, there are lots and lots of books, some of which are by the lecturers. We also have the Sound House, which is the, our kind of our in-house radio station. Um, and it's available for us to book out if we want to do a podcast series or a radio drama or things like that. If we want to record audio, then we're more than welcome to go and out and, and record in the Sound House. I love this course. <laughs> I definitely feel like I get a lot more time from my tutors than a lot of my friends at other universities. I know all of my tutors one-to-one -one and they know me. There's just a whole range of really lovely tutors and they're just so nice to work with. The course has been fun. Yeah, it's kind of, it's really style-based rather than kind of, kind of forcing people into genres so you kind of really get to explore your writing how you want to do it. I've never been to a campus that feels so much like you're in like a woodland, like a little forest. It's the perfect place for an arts campus to be. And everyone who comes here says that they wish that their campus looked like this. Falmouth University has a kind of synergy which most arts universities look to have, um, but very few get it just right. I would encourage anyone who wants to write to come and do their degree at Falmouth because I don't think that you get the support and encouragement anywhere else that you get here that it's going to be probably the best three years of your life. You should definitely do it.